Welcome back, fam. Welcome back. So I need to find out from y'all if I was being petty, if I was being not a smart a-hole, but you know what I'm saying? Or if I was just doing what needed to be done. Okay, I got a story for y'all. But before that happens, I had got a Starbucks gift card. And I said, I'm going to go and do, um, not a review, well, I guess yeah, a review, and also try to find a new drink. Because I go to Starbucks and I get the same drink all the time, okay? And I want something different. So why not try something different when it's on somebody else's dime, okay? Hmm. Now, I usually always just buy this one, which is the Passion Ice Tea, Tea Havana, I believe it's called. And I get extra lemonade, extra sweetener, all the extra good stuff. So I told the lady, why don't you pick something out for me and but stay in that, that same family, you know, and I want to see if I like it. So we're here and I'm going to see if I can find a new drink, okay, and tell y'all the story at the same time. So this here is, like I said, the Passion Iced Tea, Tea Havana, I believe that's what it's called. You know, Starbucks got all those crazy names for their drinks. This one is called the Pink Drink, Pink Drink. It got strawberries and stuff in there. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but it's called the Pink Drink. This is called the Mango Dragon Lemonade. Mango Dragon Lemonade. It got like mango. Um, I don't know what what is this? Look like dragon fruit inside of here, I guess. That's why it'd be called Dragon Lemonade. Duh. And this here is strawberry something. I don't know how to pronounce that word. But anyway, it's a strawberry drink, and I think she said it had coconut milk in here. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. You know why? Because I'm not buying it. It's on somebody else's dime. That's when you explore. When somebody else paying. Duh. Anyways, okay, let's get right into this. So, last night, Sunday night around 6 o'clock. A busy time for restaurants. I understand that. I get that. It's always slapping. Always. That one is. That's one I love. Oh, hold on. We go into this restaurant to place a takeout order. This is our second time going to this restaurant. First time, go right in, go up to the carryout station where you place your order, pick up your order, whatever. Big old carryout sign. You go there, pick up your stuff. We go in there. We go to the front counter. We're standing there. We're standing there. We're still standing there. I'm no kid, y'all. It was probably about an eight or nine minute wait, right? Now, we're at the carryout station. One um, waitress comes up. Oh, this is good. This pink drink, this is good. One waitress comes up. She typing on keyboard. She's like, oh, hi. Someone will be with you in a moment. <laughs> okay, no problem. We know y'all busy, no problem. She walks away. One waitress comes up, the phone ring. She goes over, answer the phone. Take a whole complete order over the phone, right in front of us. While we're customers here and we have the money, we, you know we not make calling and place an order, can cancel it or not show up. We're here. We're going to pay you right now, okay? Take the order, walks away. Okay. Another waitress comes up. Same area, she looking around, looking for something. I don't know. Looks up, looks right at me, walks away. Oh, okay. This was good, I don't know if I told y'all, but this one was good. Pink tea, this, this might be a, a runner up. So, um, she walks away. I'm like, okay. So we're waiting, waiting, and I'm not, I don't kid y'all, like I understand it's a rush, it's the weekend, I get that. But I'm here to place an order, somebody should be designated at that station to help somebody, especially if you see them standing there for a while. I, I'm not kidding y'all, I was standing there for a while. So, what's this? Mango Dragon Lemonade. Mm. Okay, okay, wait a minute, let's switch that because this is gonna be number one regardless, I love this, but mm, I don't know, wait a minute. So, she walks away. Phone rings again. The same girl comes back up, picks up the phone in front of us again, takes a whole nother order. Really? 
No one still came out and asked us, how can we help you? Have you been helped? What can I do for you? Nothing. I kid y'all not, we was waiting for a while. About a good eight minutes, I'm not playing. So now I'm irritated because of the fact that three of y'all have walked into this area and no one besides that one person said, hi, someone will be with you in a moment. Nobody. She didn't go and call somebody who and who's supposed to be in that area. She could have went and said, you know what, someone's up there wedding. Nothing. Nothing happened. So as um she get done taking order for the second time on the phone, I'm like, are you? Are you? Okay, so she walks away. After she took the order on the phone twice, she finally walks away. So, of course, I already got the phone number on my phone because I Googled. So, I've got the phone. She turns around. She said, hi, thank you for calling such and such. How can I help you? Hi, I would like to place an order for such and such. So, she turns and look. I'm looking. She's like, is this you on the phone? Yes. And she hangs up the phone. You know, that's very rude of you to do. I don't think so. I mean, because you're standing right here. You're right. I'm standing right here and I didn't get anyone attention. So apparently that worked because you're over here now taking my order. I just don't think that you should have had to do that. I, baby, we on the same team right now. I don't think I should have had to do that either. But I've been standing here and clearly that's the only way to get your attention is that phone right there. The only way. So her, we take the whole order and everything. Everything. So then this guy comes out. He walks right up to me. He's like, um, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I just want to apologize on behalf of, you know, my staff and this, um, our company or whatever, you know, the restaurant. I'm like, okay. He like, and I'm going to take something off your bill. Oh, now you got my attention. Now you got my attention. How you doing? How you doing? Did I taste this one? I think I did. I think I told you. I can't remember. I'm going to tell y'all again. Yeah. It tastes just like strawberry Nesley quick. This out of the picture. Now, he comes over, he says, sorry about a thousand times. He's gonna take something off my bill. Okay, what you taking off? I'm gonna take a burger off. Oh, okay. So he goes back up front. She comes over, standing next to him. I wanna go up there just so she knows I'm getting something free. So I go back up there. So since you're taking something off my bill due to your rude staff, um, do I get a new receipt showing that my car won't be, you know, pay, you know, paying for the whole bill? If you go credit it, you know what I'm saying? Let me know something I need a receipt. He like, oh yeah, sure, sure, I'll get you a new receipt. So she looks up and she walks away. <laughs> She's so bad, but I feel like that little emoji lady like, I don't care. <laughs> so. He couldn't figure out how to credit my debit card. He couldn't figure out how to do it. So, which wasn't a big deal. So he just kept apologizing, kept saying sorry. He was so nice and sweet, he was. So um, he said, we well, you know I'm just gonna give you a gift certificate. So that way, the next time you come here, your meal will be on us. You know what I'm saying? And I keep on that. I'm gonna try to cover this up, hold on. Mm. I got the $25, you know, gift certificate. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but, oh. But she, I don't, I don't know. I, if I was the manager, no, he did the right thing. He did do the right thing because what she should have did was when she did realize that that was me on the phone, she said, you know what? I apologize for your way. I thought you were being helped. How can I help you? Not the whole, oh, I think that was rude of you. Mm, you lucky my God is working on me, girlfriend. You are lucky, girl. But thank you. Thank you for saying that I was being rude because your boss just gave me $25, okay? And I'm going to use it. I'll see you next week, boo-boo. Okay? You better fix your attitude. But anyways, I think I did find a new drink, two new drinks. The mango dragon lemonade and the pink drink, okay? I like them all. I like them all. I like them all. They're all so good. Mmm. I think I'm gonna add some a uh, dot flavor or dot drink to this. You know, wink, wink, wink. You know, I'm trying to keep my channel clean. <laughs> but these are all good. And it might even taste even better because it was free. You know, I don't know. Free stuff tastes amazing. But um, yeah, so I got a free gift certificate all because she said she thought that I was rude because I was trying to figure out how I can get service that I'm paying for. Customer service really suck nowadays. They really do. But, you know, it is what it is. 
and I don't care because you know what? It's over. I didn't die. She didn't die. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I got something out the deal. So I feel good about it. I sat there with a smile on my face waiting for my order to come out. Okay, while she walking around all red and upset. Hmm. Thank you. Next time, be professional. Now, y'all, let me know in the comments what y'all think, what y'all would have done if I was being petty, if I did the right thing. You know, what would y'all have done? I'm happy with what I did. You know, it made me feel good because just seeing her face, her facial expressions when she answered that phone and realized it was me, baby, that was everything. I'm telling y'all that that made my night. That made my night. Okay. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Peace.